what I think you're going to be seeing and hearing at the same time. I don't know about the, the audio quality of what you're going to be seeing. But what you're going to be seeing is um, me, I'll be the guy in the yellow coat, and Steven, he usually plays drums, but in this uh, setup you're going to be seeing me and Steven sort of uh, conducting our two separate uh, sections of, uh, how do we say it, um, boom box, uh, the, our, boom, our boom box operators. I'll have 20 on my side, and Steven has 20 on his side, and Michael, who usually plays bass, is standing in the middle, and he's got his own sort of tape player set up, and his tape plays and sometimes sort of guides what me and Steven do with the other tape players. But anyway, so what we've done is we've made 40 tapes that all sort of work on their own sort of logic. But what we do is we give everybody a tape and everybody a boombox. And I yell at them and I say, one, two, three, go. And everybody starts them at the same time. And then we tur everybody's turned down. And then at certain times we tell them to turn up and turn down and with different rhythms up and down and a different 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 people are going at different times. And what we've what we've tried to do is to sort of create this kind of uh, I don't know, kind of a, a tape deck, sort of interactive tape deck concert performance where it's songs that we've recorded yet they only really get performed once there's people running the tape players. I don't really know why. I mean, I, I sort of um, just sort of got the idea. I've had the idea for a long time, but I got the idea um, mostly from uh, being at concerts and walking through uh, parking lots while everybody's, you know, is, is like before a concert, after a concert, and everybody's playing their different tape players and stuff, and they're all hanging out in their cars. And um, sometimes you walk through and you, you hear the same song playing out of five or six different tape decks, all in this weird sort of unsynchronized, confusing sort of way. And, and even when I was a, a, a young teenager, I thought that was kind of interesting. But, I don't, um, but it was only later that I thought I, I would try to do something similar, but through compositions that were sort of purposely kind of unpredictable in their rhythm and in their, in their synchronization and stuff. So a couple of years ago, I started to do what I call now the parking lot experiments. When I started off, I, I would have like three or four, sometimes five people come up to a parking lot and I'd give them all a tape and we'd all kind of spread out and we'd see what it sounded like with these tapes all being engaged at the same time. Well, that built from like five to sometimes up to 50 cars. And this would do, we'd park them in a parking lot and we would turn them all on and everybody would crank them up as loud as we go and we'd sort of hear these compositions kind of sort of happen right there in front of you. And since it, it took so many tapes, and take players to make it all work. The only way I could really hear them would be to invite a bunch of people there and just, and just yell at them and say, okay, is everybody ready? Here we go.